As Hong Kong grapples with rising COVID cases, a nurse on the front line has told Reuters some staff are angry at the lack of preparation. David Chan is a nurse and the chairperson of the Hospital Authority Employees Alliance. None of the hospitals had any plans in place. The hospital authority had not provided any instructions for how to handle it if cases were to escalate. The global financial hub follows mainland China in deploying a dynamic zero-COVID strategy aimed at ending any outbreaks as soon as possible after they occur. But despite extensive contact tracing and isolation policies, daily infections have risen 60-fold since the start of the month. A Hong Kong Hospital Authority spokesperson told Reuters that public hospitals were overloaded and contingency measures that have been adopted so far include cancelling non-emergency treatment and increasing recruitment. Patients are also being triaged, with priority given to children and the elderly. Chan said the harrowing scenes seen over several days as COVID patients assembled at parking lots, exacerbated by people without symptoms rushing to the hospital after taking a home test. I think this is a big problem because you can see that Hong Kong many people, they will come to the hospital if they just have confirmed the COVID, the COVID if, they, uh, if he is a confirmed patient they will just go to the hospital. This is a big problem. In recent days, the city's hospitals have moved most patients indoors, but Chan said the system remains overburdened. But now we've been asked to place them all indoors, but you're just moving the problem from outdoors to indoors. So the situation we are facing is that many of the confirmed cases are now placed into ordinary wards. While the city has so far ruled out a citywide lockdown, authorities are examining mandatory testing for its 7.4 million people.